Well, uh, our next uh, guest up here is a gifted stand-up. Uh, she's uh, written for uh, everything from SpongeBob, SquarePants, to Vice. That's the whole <laughs> thing. That's the whole strain. That's the whole gamut there. And uh, she's got a great new album called Let It Be. Uh, please welcome Claire O'Kane, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a generous pour there. Yeah, I let's. Uh, I think it's mostly melted ice. At oh, this okay. Point. <laughs> I don't have a problem. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Me neither. Oh. <laughs> okay. Claire, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good, Dale. <laughs> uh, I was listening to this great interview, and yeah. um, I must say that we have two diametrically opposed ways of thinking and living. <laughs> uh, I guess all I can really say is without being, um, just being too negative, yeah. uh, is that I think you're very, you seem like a very lovely person, positive person. Yes. Um, and I hate the way you live. <laughs> and I hate everything about how you describe well, your life. Well, 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 Claire, what, what, what do you mean by Well, that? you know, I just, I, I live alone. I, yeah. well, I don't live alone, I have my boy boyfriend. Yeah. But I really, I uh, love being alone mm -hmm. to a detrimental, the, an, a detrimental amount of being alone. Um, but, you know, I, that, that's just the bulk of it. I like to be alone. That many people would not, not be uh, great for you. No. I did live with seven other people at one point in my life yeah. when I went to art school. Mm. Heard of that, it? That's the time to do it. Yeah. That's the time to do it. And uh, that was it mostly uh, an experiment and let's see how little we can pay for the most amount of experience uh, and I'm familiar with you know that. what I mean yeah, I like that strategy yes. um, a lot of painting each other's bodies a lot of um, just spray painting a fuck you on the wall or whatever um, and then smoking inside of course and uh, yeah um, <laughs> just a big, a big <laughs> indoor smoker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, happy to hear this cause finally championed. Um, all with the support of our uh, parents' hard-earned money. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And that just didn't work out. Yeah. No, I studied a little mold making at uh, art school, and I know the vibe. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, you, you know? get it. Yeah. 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 It's an aggressive. It's an aggressive relaxation. <laughs> yes. Being art school. Using yes. your creative mind uh, to uh, create as much chaos as possible without making sure uh, everybody still likes you. Yep. It's a really hard balance. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. The more people I introduce into my life, that means the more people who could potentially not like me. <laughs> and I don't need that. Yeah. I think this is where we find a little common ground yeah, there yeah, because yeah. I, I want people to like me. I just want people to like me. <laughs> I do. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. my whole thing. That's it. Uh, but Claire, uh, you, this album that you have out now, Let It Be, yeah. uh, it's a great title. Thanks. I was disappointed that it wasn't just Beatles covers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the Beatles do get a mention. Do they? They do. It's in a segment about, I don't know the proper terminology, but fingering, I think, is, is what's involved. And uh, there's a lot of very blue material on this album, It's quite Claire. blue. I, sh I should have called it... Uh, the blue album. <laughs> That's right. It's a little randy. <laughs> I could have, yeah. That's funny. Okay. We should, yeah. I like that. Well, and, uh, uh, no. That's, that has nothing to do with Weezer. <laughs> the thought that I just had in my head that flashed across my, sta my uh, stage of my mind. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My, my chips are, sh are short circuiting. Mm -hmm. The point is, <laughs> uh, did you have a good time making this album? I had a great time making this album. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's a culmination of my life's work. Uh, by that I mean the last eight years of yeah. my life. Um, and this is your I, first one? Yeah, first album. Yeah. Okay. And it really runs the gamut, you know, from uh, fingering to light fingering <laughs> to. Um, 
eating a woman out for the first time, that's a very big, that's a, that's like a five minute chunk, as we say in stand up. Um, that's, a, that's a great word to use. Yeah. In that context. Chunk. Yeah, yeah chunk is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it's terrific. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. And I learned a lot, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, but now, uh, you did work for SpongeBob at some time. Yes, I did. I wrote for SpongeBob. Now, I'm sure you've talked about this before, but are you contractually obligated to then hold one of the ropes at the Macy's Day Thanksgiving <laughs> no. balloon? Do you no. have to go out there with uh, SpongeBob and no. make sure he doesn't float away? I feel like I should be. Cause have you ever thought about it? You know, Dale, I have. <laughs> <laughs> you see? But uh, not too in-depth. No, no. no. Well, it'd be fun if we both went out there and did it. Rassle a big balloon like that? Yeah. You know what I always think of when I think of Macy's Day Parade balloons? Though? What's that? When S Snoopy yeah. killed someone. Do you remember that? Got loose, did he? Snoopy. Was it Snoopy? One of them. Yeah. Oh, oh. One of them. Listen, I am happy to pin this on Snoopy. Again, I... I don't want to put words in the news's mouth. Oh no, Charles Schultz was a monster. Let's <laughs> pin it on Snoopy. But I think that one, there was a big balloon. Yeah. And the balloon got one of the balloons got loose. Yep. And then it's a it's a heavy ass. I don't know if I can curse. It's a yep. big a big booty balloon. It's a big yeah. And I think it killed someone on Thanksgiving. Giving day. That's a terrible way to go out, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe that person wasn't looking forward to having dinner with their family anyway. True. I mean, True. maybe that was a relief in some way. And then one less meal to prepare. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's great for everybody. Kind of a win all around, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to shed a tear for that fella. No, but that would be. Do you have a favorite balloon in the in the parade? Do you like to watch that? Um, I like watching uh, the tired uh, musical actors uh, from the Broadway musical actors yep. just kind of half-heartedly <laughs> a cabaret <laughs> and, uh, in the freezing cold <laughs> in their right. costume. Um, it's always real early. Always real cold. I feel like they're all lip syncing. Yes, and, but they still somehow end by going, <laughs> even though they haven't really used their breath. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But now you grew up in a place that wasn't cold out there in the South Bay in San Jose. Beautiful San Jose, 408. Beautiful San Jose, a place that I, when I think of it, I think tan. That's what I think of. Tan people? No, the building's just mostly tan. Yeah, you're just, right. It has kind of a tan vibe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a not this, not that, just kind of San Jose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. The place that I visited and always been happy to leave. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's definitely one of those places that uh, they, someone says, do you want to go here or do you want to go here? And then they go, I don't want to, uh, I'll go here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anything funny to say about it. You choose, you choose something that's not that. But yeah. now, did, uh, speaking of that, you, you left and you went out to, to the Bay Area, San yes. Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's, it's, it's Bay Area, but go with me. You went to the cities, the places where people like to be that yeah. aren't tan. Mm -hmm. And you went to San Francisco. Did you ever spend some time over there at 924 Gilman in Berkeley? Were you tearing things up at the skate park down at the Embarcadero shredding? <laughs> I was skating a little at the Embarcadero. Yeah. I never, I didn't go to Gilman though for whatever reason. That was a kind of a punk scene over there. Huge punk scene. Yeah. Yeah. That was where I was kind of hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Those are the per periphery. Yeah. Periphery. But you like to skate? I do. Yeah. I like to shred. Do you still do it? I do. Yeah. I'm going on a big skate trip on Sunday at a, a upstate. Wow. To a skate park inside. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. That sounds uh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be great. Will there be foliage? Uh, I assume. Yeah. Unless yeah. something has happened. Yeah, well, we never that know. I don't know we, about. We, we never know. It, it will probably not surprise you to know that I was never much of a skater. Oh. No. <laughs> that doesn't surprise I went down one hill on one of the old banana boards, you know, those little skinny ones, and just flopped off, never went Scary. back. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. When you fall, it's rough. It, you never forget it, do and you? you never forget. No. no. It can be very difficult. Yeah. Uh, now, have you had any experiences with the occult? 
Uh, yeah, recently I did buy a tarot card deck. You did? For the first you did. time in my what's, life. What's the brand? It's the, you know, that classic 70s, uh, there's kind of a yellow aesthetic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow. Um, so that's the one I bought. Yep. I forget, it's like somebody's name specifically. Yep. And have you, have you done some readings from it? Have you, have you engaged with it? Uh, I've tried to on myself and then the overall, just like, I can't. I don't know. I'd have to do it on someone else. I've yeah. never done it on someone else. Mm -hmm. But I also don't know enough yet, I think. And uh, you've, you've probably experienced loss. We all have. Oh, t tons of it. If, yeah. you, if you've heard my album, let it be on specialthingrecords.com. Yes. Um, yeah, I have jokes. I think I have three jokes about three dead people in my life. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we, all, we all do, yeah. right? It's not that you're not special. No. <laughs> sure. It's always difficult. <laughs> but we all have it. Uh, now, uh, but have you have you had any contact from beyond? Have you done any Ouija board work? Have you have you tried to reach out? I don't. Uh, I've never Ouija'd. <laughs> but well, I'm glad you think it's funny. <laughs> Ouija'd is a good term. <laughs> I never Ouija'd, but I uh, my, I have a, a cousin who's got a third eye, as we call it, in the Filipino, the freaky Filipino culture, the third eye, who where, who she can talk to ghosts. And so she's talked to ghosts for now, me. Now that's just an accepted thing that the the third eye. I get. Well, I guess within my family specifically, and apparently it runs in my family having a third eye. And that is some kind of spiritual uh, awakening and connection to this to to the ghost world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They were the, uh, the specifically. It's like someone wants to uh, come. Someone wants to communicate through my cousin to someone. A love, loved one or whatever. And what kind of messages do you get? Um, from my mom specifically, like, uh, look if, well, <laughs> what is it? Um, just sometimes random things, like, look at, uh, she's telling me, this is my cousin talking, she's saying, like, she's telling me something about buttons. So, I don't know, do what you will with that. Uh, <laughs> yellow car, and uh, if you see uh, this thing, that's when you know she's around. So like dead, she says dead people, you know, uh, uh, not anthropomorphic, um, they personify certain things in nature, and blah, blah, blah. So like if you see like, mom, my, my mother said she's, if you see a hummingbird, that's no, that's when you know she's around. Did anything come with the buttons? <laughs> no, but I got a lot of buttons. <laughs> you got to give them in charge. I, I got lots of buttons. A lot of my buttons always fall off. Okay. Um, well, I don't know what that loss, means. Loss. 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 Yeah, buttons. That's right there. Missing the button. Missing <laughs> button. Mm -hmm. the button. The mo most effective one was uh, when my cousin said, it was like right after my mom died, my cousin was like, uh, your mom says that if you smell this type of baby powder, the specific type of baby powder made by this brand, and that's when you know she's around. Oh. I know. And have you done that? I, I smelled it once. Yep. Yeah. But that was a smell I specifically uh, attributed to, like, feeling, like I knew my mom was home when I smelled that because every time after she showered, she'd slather a bunch of baby powder on her bush to dry it off or whatever. Um, that's a specific memory, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I'm an only child, so I, I just, you know. Me too. I saw it all. We see it all. Uh, we Why are they so it. comfortable around us? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. Because we were quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powdering the bush. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's the smell I, you know, I associated with uh, my mom's presence in general. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, now you do have a podcast as well. I do. The uh, you talking to yourself on a bench. What's it called? It's called talking to myself in the park. In the park. And you do it at Washington Square. Park? I do it in all, any park I can get my butt on. Any park? Mm -hmm. What's the most exotic park you've been to? Mm. I was recently in London and I went to the, the London Park. Hyde Park. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. the one Thank you, you want to be in. Thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a very, very polite park. Clap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what everybody sounds like over there. That's right. That's the British for you. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I mean, I could call this show. 
talking to myself in a turtleneck. <laughs> but uh, has it caught on? Has the show caught on? Have you gotten the sponsorships and all that? Definitely kind of not. No. No. Yeah. no. I started a Patreon and then I almost immediately forgot about it. <laughs> no one has made less on Patreon than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. That is true. That's designed to not succeed. Uh -huh. That's what that is. <laughs> I think we I capped out at maybe like twenty dollars. Yeah. And it was oh, well, you did better than I. Only my aunt. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. But people can listen in. And they can hear uh, you talking on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. your thoughts. Just me. Do you have my guests? thoughts. Uh, occasionally, I'll have a guest. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd like to guess. come by sometime. Yeah. Oh, you should. Yeah. Definitely. I like parks. I like talking. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't have to be London. You don't have to fly me to London. I'll, I'll do something yeah. local. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, now, uh, you, you have to run. You have to go to another show. I do. Okay. Uh, but where, where are you going to perform? Not that show, because that, that's already happening. Mm -hmm. But what, what's another one that's coming up for you? I'm doing a show uh, on Friday yeah. at Vaughn Bar, not too far from here. Sure, on Bleecker. By where uh, the rock and roll John Varvados is, former yeah. CBGB. Yeah. Uh, it, it was okay as a club. But it's so much better as the John Vervato's That's what I, uh, store. That's what I always say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let it die. Can you let commerce rise? Imagine that picture of the Ramones, but then they were in front of the John Barbados. I think that would be really Signing cool. Signing an iPad. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the city uh, bike. That's punk rock, man. Um, and I, you know, just ClaroCane.com in general for, I got a, couple, a bunch of shows coming up. That's terrific. Claro Kane, ladies and gentlemen. That's so Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Finish up. Holly's left us. It's just you and me, Cornelius.